Yeah, they should have taken care of Castro when they had the chance. Like we did in Guatemala in 53. Well, Guatemala. Sure, Guatemala. All right, you boys, get yourself together. We'll head up to the restaurant. I'll leave a note for Elaine. I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> Come on, let's go. What about Elaine? Hell with Elaine. She'll be furious. We're dying here. <laughs> That's her. She's here. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Where is Dad? He's in the bathroom. <laughs> Where have you been? Kramer, that Kramer. I'm just about to leave. He calls me up. He begs me to sit in his car for two minutes so I can pick up these birds. Oh, you didn't. Well, he said he'd drive me here right after. So I am sitting in his car for 20 minutes. He doesn't come down. I am freezing. Then a cop comes by, tells me to get out of the car. He's a city marshal. He's towing the car away. Kramer owes thousands of dollars in back tickets. He was going to tow it with me in the car. So they towed the car. Now I am standing outside and I am freezing, but I cannot leave because I got to tell him what happened to the car. So finally, he finally, he comes down with this giant cage filled with doves. He said he was getting special instructions that each dove has a different diet. So we're wandering around trying to get a cab when two of these doves fly out. Now we're running down the street after these doves. I almost got hit by a bus. So, how's everything going over here? Great. Couldn't be better. <laughs> Good. Because Dad can make some people a little uncomfortable. Oh, no. Get out of here. Man, Kramer, I could kill him. I can't believe it. You know better than to get involved with Kramer. He said he'd give me a lift. Ah, the lift. Like the lure of the siren song. Never what it seems to be. Yet who among us can resist? <laughs> Where do you come up with this stuff?